years ago at St. Matthias Parish. And near the beginning of my time here, I had something wrong that I had to go to the doctor for. So the ladies in the office, you know, looked at, you know, some doctors in the area and suggested someone for me to go to. So I went to that doctor. You know, while I was there, I'm like, ooh, I can really play on them because they really don't know me yet. And so I get back from the doctor and the ladies in the office go, so what did the doctor tell you? I go, you know, I can't believe it. The doctor told me I was overweight. <laughs> can you believe that? And they didn't know what to say. You know, they're like, oh my gosh, he has no, he doesn't understand reality at all. <laughs> but the idea that, you know, somewhat, a doctor's sort of like what a prophet's supposed to do, to read the signs and then to give a message. You know, that they read all the different things that they do all these tests on you and everything else, and then they give you a message. And... A lot of times you won't like the message unless you have perfect health. And if you have that, congratulations to you. <laughs> but the idea that that is sort of like what a prophet does, that a prophet looks at what's going on around them at the time, prays about it, and then takes that message to the people on what they need to do differently. To the people, to the, to the, uh, the ruling class, to members of the religious, whatever else it might be, that they take that message to them on how they have to change. And a lot of times, they don't like it. They don't like the message that they are hearing different than today's gospel. You know, in today's gospel, Jesus comes to his home place and starts preaching in the synagogue. It's not that they say what he's saying is false. It's not that they're saying that they don't like what he's saying, but it says they take offense to him because they believe that they know him. That how dare this Jesus that all of us grew up with, this Jesus that we knew as a little child, should be preaching to us. Not looking at the message, not looking at what he might be saying, but instead coming up with conclusions based upon what they think. Listening to prophets, to listen to those who read the signs of the times and brings those to us on how we have to change. In our day and age, most of the time, we need to be our own prophet. We have to look at what we need to change, how we have to be different. That we look at the signs of the many thing that we, things that we are doing and say, no, that's not right. I need to change that. And then sometimes we'll get angry about it, but yet we need to listen, to listen to what God might be telling us to be different in our lives, to be more prayerful, to be more charitable, whatever God might be asking us, that we begin that path to be different.